please unmute you yourselves. Unmute yourself. And also, to keep, if you can keep uh, background noise to a minimum, let me just... I can't seem to unmute people today. Let me find... There we go. Okay, so I, I'm muting everyone. Um, keep your background noise to a minimum if you, if you have a question. And I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you. And today is all about maintaining and creating entries. And I hope you can all see that uh, screen at the moment. So welcome everyone. Um, and this was actually a hand that I sent out in the link in my weekly email to you. And it was um, how, to, uh, how to play this hand. And it was all about entries. And when I sent out this link, it was sent out exactly like this. What I've included in here is the play to the first trick. So you can click on next, or you can use the uh, right and left arrows to go backwards and forwards. And you can play to the first trick. And this was as far as I'd uh, sent out the, uh, the play. And you can see after this point, the next button is grayed out, which means there's no more um, cards uh, that I've put in the, in the link to play. Uh, so the object now is to, to make three no trump and to find uh, the best way to do that. By the way, before we get on to that, um, the bidding here is a little bit unusual. South opens maybe with two no trump with this hand. It's not balanced. It's not a balanced hand because of the singleton ace. On the other hand, it was 21 points. So hard to know what else to bid. The only alternative might be one club, perhaps, and planning later on to, to bid no trump. But two no trump with that shape, it's slightly off the normal shape, but that might be the best choice. Anyway, you bid two no trump. Your partner bids three clubs, which was stamen. You bid three diamonds to show no four card major, and your partner ends up in three no trump. They lead a heart, and let's stop for a minute. Let's actually go back to the uh, <coughs> card led there, and let's stop to make a plan. And what I'd like you to do in no trump is to start by counting your top tricks. How many top tricks altogether do you hope to make? Count them up and then tell me what it comes to. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you hope to make four spades, two hearts, and two clubs um, at least. That comes to eight top tricks. Now, I, I've said four spades, but there's a difficulty in spades, which and the difficulty is taking your four tricks okay so um after the first trick which let's suppose you win so after you've you've done this you now uh, if you follow this link that i sent you you can now play the rest of the hand and you can also use this gib button which is the name of the software that will tell you uh, what's the best card to play in different situations so if i click on that it brings up this little display here and what this is saying is that I can make an over trick if I now play the ace of spades, whereas I can be defeated by one or two tricks if I play anything else. OK, and of course, you need to play the ace of spades early so that then when you if you can get to dummy, you'll be able to take uh, the remaining spades. OK, so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's suppose let's uh, go through this again. We'll take the ace of spades, which wins the trick. And now, in order to make the remaining spades, we have to get to dummy. Is there a way to get to dummy on this hand? Yes. Clubs. Yes. Clubs. Clubs. Yeah. There's, there's really only one good chance to get to dummy, and that is with the clubs. With the, Because you've got the jack and ten of clubs, you should be able to get there. And again, if I click on this, it, when I click on this name bar, it brings up all four hands. And if I then click on GIB, it will tell me again that the only way to make this contract now is to lead a low club. If I start off with the ace or the king of clubs or any other card, I can be defeated. So I'm, this is how you can play. I'm going to lead a club. And 
The jack might lose to the queen. If it does, I've now got the ten over there. So whatever they do, they can win that one with the uh, queen of clubs. They might leave back a heart, maybe. I can win that. And now I can cross over to the ten of clubs, okay? And I'll be able to cash my uh, spades now. Actually, as I cash my spades, let's suppose I throw a heart away the first time. I've got two more spades to um, cash now. And when I do, what do you think I should discard from the south hand? What should I discard on those two spades? Diamonds. Diamonds, yeah. Yeah, diamonds, because all my clubs are good. Remember, yeah. I, 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 I started with five clubs. I lost one, but all the clubs are good. So um, it, it's tempting to discard a club there, but really it's a mistake. And again, if you use the, uh, the computer to help you on this, if I click on GIB, it will say that I can make an overtrick, what, that's, what the one is saying, as long as I discard a diamond here. Okay, So don't discard a club uh, because you have to make those clubs. It's a little bit scary because we're, we sort of um, don't have any protection in diamonds anymore, but we're going to make... Uh, an over trick here, which is the best we can do. So we'll just take our clubs at the end and we expect to lose those last two tricks. Okay, so we can make uh, 10 tricks on that one. And it just required a bit of careful handling to make sure you had an entry to the north hand. Any questions on that? Any comments? So that was all about um, realizing you had an entry problem and trying to make sure you have an entry to the uh, to the north hand. Let's have a look at another one. This time it goes uh, one no trump. There's a two diamond overcall, which is natural. And you've got 12 points here, but a six card suit. Um, even if you're playing transfers, transfers are off after interference. You can't be, you, you know, you, you would like to play in hearts here. You can't bid diamonds anymore, so transfers are off, and you would just bid perhaps four hearts on this hand. Um, so I don't know if you agree with that bid or not, but um, 12 points, but a nice suit, maybe you'll bid four hearts. So let's try and uh, make a plan on this. West leads a diamond, which was their partner's suit, and let's see if we can make a plan. Now, uh, in a suit contract, let's see if we can identify our losers to start with. Um, and it sometimes is also helpful to count our winners too. So you may find that. We'll, we'll look at the losers from the point of view of the south hand, but taking into account all the strength in dummy. So we've got no spade losers. In fact, we've got a, a source of extra tricks there. How many hearts would you expect to lose here? Mm -hmm. One. One no. with any luck. Hmm. Possibly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've got we've got um, an eight card fit. So mm -hmm. if they divide three two, we'll only lose one trick there. How many diamonds are we going to lose? One. 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 And how many clubs? Two. 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 So we start we've off with with four. We've actually eight. got nine. We've got nine hearts. Oh, I beg your pardon. Yeah, I mm -hmm. beg your pardon, Ed, uh, Steve. Yeah, sorry, I miscounted. Yeah, we've got a nine oh, card wow. um, fit. So we might not lose any. If 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 they divide evenly, two two, we might we might make them all. But if they divide three one, um, we we might well lose one. So yeah, thank you for that. So one possible heart loser, one diamond, and two club losers. Um, and what we've got on this hand though is another source of tricks. We've got those those spades. So what we're pl what we're hoping to do is to make a total of four spades, which would allow us to discard a couple of losers from our hand here. So so that's how we're going to uh, plan to play this. Let's suppose we win the first trick with the ace, and what do you think we should play next? Trumps. Yeah, we should draw tr trumps. I mean, if we're lucky, we'll they'll go in two rounds. So let's start off with the um, ace, okay, and uh, let's try the king, and we get a bad break. We get a 3-1 break, actually it's more common than 2-2. Two, two. Um, so we're going to lose a heart, 
aren't we? Mm-hmm. Now, normally, if there's one high trump out, it's best not to draw it. It's, if, if your opponents have got one high trump, they can rough with it, um, and it's just best not to draw it. But just see what happens if we adopt that strategy here. If we, I'll bring up the four hands. If we, if we now leave that high trump out, we might now turn to spade. We're going to start by winning the first spade in the short hand with the ace. Okay, cross over to uh, another spade. But when we play the third spade, it might get roughed. Yeah. Mm. And now, although we can discard a diamond here, we've got that queen of spades and we can never get to it. Yeah. Mm. So what's going to happen now is the opponents might try um, a diamond, which we can rough. There are no more trumps. Um, so whatever we play, we might um, just play off our trumps and hope they discard something. But at the end, we're probably going to lose two clubs. Now, we'll still make our contract, but we'll only make 10 tricks. Uh, and we weren't really able to make use of that last spade in dummy. What should we have done on this hand? Well, this is an exception to the situation of leaving a high trump out because we, if we leave that high trump out, we won't be able to take four spades. So the way to play this is play the ace and the king like before. And when we discover the three one break, it's best to draw that last trump. Now they'll get in and the worst they can do is cash a diamond, okay? But whatever they play now, that's all the trumps gone, we can rough, and now we can take our four spades. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the ace, cross over, and we'll be able to take the the rest of the spades and actually make one more trick. We can make 11 tricks there because Mm -hmm. we were able to make the, uh, the four spades. So we ended up losing just a diamond and a heart there, and we made the rest of them. So that's a, a sort of exception to, this, to the general idea that when there's one high trump out, you leave it out. You can, it can be good to draw it, as in this case, so that you can run the four spades um, without them roughing. Any comments on that one? Any questions? Yeah, my question, Tony, is how at that point where you've drawn two rounds of trumps and you see you get a lousy break, how do you know to break their, to, you know, to go with the exceptional uh, thing of taking out the last trump. In other yeah. words... Well, you, you have to think about it both ways, I suppose. Um, and you have to think, what will happen if I draw the last trump? And what will happen if I don't draw the last trump? So here, the, the, the key to uh, making that decision is realising that there are very few entries to the North Hand. Mm. Uh, in fact, one, there, there are no entries outside the spade suit now. And if you, um, if you leave that out and try to run the spades, if they rough, then you won't be able to, to take, take them all. So that's what is the key point, identifying the lack of entries to this hand. And also thinking about what will happen if you do draw the last trump, um, that if you do, the worst they'll be able to do is to take one diamond. Okay, mm-hmm. so... So you've still got the ace of clubs, so they can't take any more clubs and you'll still have a chance to discard those clubs on the good, good spades. So it's all a matter of um, uh, trying to work out, you know, whether you have a long suit that, that, the, that the opponents will be able to stop you running, I suppose. Okay, let's try another one. Um, here you open one spade. There's a two club over call and North doubles. Now, that double um, is a a negative double, and it's showing some points, and typically it's showing the two unbid suits. It should be showing here the two red suits, Um, four hearts, perhaps, and four diamonds, maybe. Um, Definitely four hearts. Um, So, and it's showing some points. Obviously, you're obliged to bid at the two level now, it should be showing at least uh, eight points. So they double, East passes, and it comes around to you. You could, I suppose, on this hand, support your partner's diamonds, but you have a very nice 
spade suit you'd love, really like to mention to your partner. And even though this hand is only 14 points in high cards, I think it comes into the category of a, a medium hand, just really because of the, the shape of it. The singleton ace of hearts, the very nice six card suit. I would upgrade that from a minimum hand of 12 to 15 to treat it more like a medium hand uh, worth about 16 points. And I think I'll bid three spades here. And that should show a six card suit and your partner goes to four spades. Okay, and let's have a look at the hand. Uh, the opponents lead the king of diamonds uh, on this hand. And let's see if we can make a plan on this hand. Let's see if we can identify where we're in danger of losing tricks. Well, we're not going to lose any spades. We're not going to lose any hearts. The only suits we're in danger of losing tricks in are diamonds and clubs. We've got at least two club losers, and we've got possibly some diamond losers, but maybe we can uh, discard those on the hearts. That's what we're going to do on this hand, discard the heart. The hearts will provide uh, a total of four tricks, and whenever you're counting, if you have trouble figuring out where your losers are, it can also be a good idea to figure out how many tricks you have. Let's do that here. We've got six spades, we hope, four hearts, and a diamond. So we're hoping to make 11 tricks on this hand. Again, there's only one difficulty here, which is the, um, the heart suit is blocked, okay? Uh, and to make four hearts, we're going to have to play the hearts carefully. Um, so uh, there's really only one way to dummy, isn't there? Can you see there's only one way to dummy, and that's the ace of spades. That's, that's the spades. So what we're going to do is use the ace of spades to get to dummy, and, and this is how we're going to play it. Let's suppose we win that one. We may as well get rid of that ace of hearts early on so it, it's out of the way. It's a really good idea to get rid of your blockages. <laughs> um, and, um, and then we just need to get to dummy. But we want to draw trumps as well. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, draw trumps but end in dummy. Yeah. So let's have a little think. We've got um, six and three. We've got nine trump. Um, so let's suppose we play the king. Okay, and if everyone follows, we now know we should be able to, to get to dummy. And we really want to get to dummy right at the end. So we'll, we'll play the queen next, okay? And now there's just one trump out, so we can now draw it, and then we'll be able to cash our heart. So when we cash our hearts, we'll be able to discard three losers from our hand, okay? I don't think we can do any better than that. We'll end up with um, two diamond losers here. Um, um, but whatever happens, we'll make uh, 11 tricks there. Okay. And, uh, and, and that was just all about the timing and realizing that entries to dummy are short, realizing you need to unblock the ace and realizing you need to play the spades in such a way that you can end up in dummy so to, to cash those hearts. Any comments on, questions on that one? But Tony, if West had led clubs, then we would lose more tricks. Would we? Let's see. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Uh, according to the computer, I've just pressed on the GIB button, and it says that whatever you lead, you can make, uh, declare can make one over trick. So that's what the green one is saying. Yeah, I think if they lead a club, they can cash two clubs, but then whatever they play after that, say a diamond, we can get in and we can still play the same way. We'll still be able to discard three times on the heart. So whatever they lead here, we, we can make 11 tricks, I believe. That's what the computer says anyway. Okay, let's um, try this one. Um, here's a quite an interesting hand. We open one diamond on this hand here. There's pass, my partner bids a heart, and I rebid two diamonds, let's say. Now, actually, you had a choice of rebids here. Um, 
instead of the two diamonds, you could have bid two clubs. That would have been a reasonable um, bid as well. But the quality of the diamond suit and the fact that it's a six-card suit might urge you to bid diamonds uh, twice rather than uh, diamonds followed by clubs. If you bid diamonds followed by clubs, you're showing at least five um, diamonds and four clubs. Bidding the diamonds here would sort of suggest it, it, you know, that that's your suit and you're more interested in that than clubs. Anyway, you bid two diamonds, that shows a minimum hand, and it's about to be passed out, passed, passed, but he comes in with a double. And that's a good strategy. A uh, double of a low level suit contract is for takeout, and it's really saying, if they're about to stop playing, to start playing two diamonds, maybe East West have got something they can play, play in. So they double here. If you pass, West bids two spades, and now your partner bids three diamonds. So they pushed you at least one level higher than you were about to be in, and maybe that ends the contract. All right. Any questions on the bidding? The opponents lead the jack of spades, and let's take a minute to try and make a plan on this hand. I suggest you try and work out your losers here from the point of view of the south hand, but taking into account all the strength in dummy. Okay, so how many spade losers have you got? Six. Six. Well, I, I, Six. well let, let's go through this one at a time, but let's count our losers. How many spade losers have you got? One. One. No, no, none, none. None. The answer is zero, none. isn't it? Because you've got yeah, the ace yeah, yeah. and the king. Okay, so no losers there. Yeah. How many heart losers have you got? One. 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 How many diamond losers have you got? One. 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 We're missing the ace. Now, in clubs, in the south hand, we have um, what's technically known as a bunch of losers here. Um, but we've got three, up to three losers here. But is there a way to avoid them? Yeah. What's that? A heart. Heart. Hearts, yeah. Yeah. How, how, tell me how that's going to go. You're going to you're going to set up the hearts, or play the hearts, or something. Trust rough. Trust rough. Cross rough. Yeah, I, I don't know if I agree with the word cross rough here, because <laughs> although you can rough hearts, um, roughing hearts doesn't actually give you any extra tricks. What gives you extra tricks here is roughing clubs. And if you are able to rough three clubs, you can actually avoid all your club losers. Okay? So if we can do that, we, so basically our plan on this hand is to try and rough oh, yeah. as many clubs yeah. as possible. And the way to play this is, um, let's suppose they play the spade. We have an immediate decision about whether to try and win this with the king or with the ace. And the actual best card to play on this hand is actually the king, because we need as many entries to the south hand in order to rough clubs as possible. We don't have that many entries to the south hand without touching trumps. And so we're going to keep the ace of spades, and it's quite uh, important. We'll look at this played two different ways. But the best way to play it is actually to take the king, okay? And remember, our plan here is to rough as many clubs as possible. So we're going to play the jack of clubs straight away. Take it with the ace and rough the first club, rough the next club uh, with a low diamond. Okay. Now what? Back to, the spade. to spade. Back to the ace, Back yes. to the ace, ace of spades, spade. yes. And we can now rough another club with um, the four of diamonds. Okay? Now yeah. what? Now you play a heart. If we another play a... Spade. Another yeah. spade. It, yeah. Another spade. Oh yeah, the spade we can, we can rough. Yeah, there. yeah. We, we want to get back to our hand so that we can rough with our last club. And the way to get back to your hand is with a spade. If you yeah. try to get back with... well. If you play a diamond, then you're you're not going to be able to rough anything. And if no. we play a heart, they'll get in and we'll probably draw our last trump from dummy. So we can actually get back to our hand with a spade rough. Someone said cross roughing. It, it is kind of what we're doing here. 
but we're just doing that just so we can get back to rough that last club. And we're roughing that last club high with the okay. queen. Sorry, if you could uh, keep the noise down there. We're roughing with the queen there so that yeah. the only thing it can be over with is, is the ace. And now we're, we're done, we'll just play a, lose a heart. But whatever they play now, all we're gonna do is play our diamonds, eventually they'll take their ace. And we can actually make 11 tricks on this hand. You can actually make wow. 11 tricks just by roughing all the, all the clubs yeah, and just sure. losing a heart and a diamond. And it was important to realize that we were short of entries to the south hand to achieve that. If we play this hand again, um, if you instead take the ace of spades, you've sort of cut yourself off. You've, you've got one pure entry now. Let's just see what happens. This is played exactly the same, except we're starting off with the ace of spades. And just see what happens. We'll start off with the club and we'll rough a, a club. Okay. So far, yeah. so good. Um, and now what? Well, you can you can get back to your hand by playing the king of spades and roughing a spade. Yeah. Okay. But um, so now we're going to rough mm. our last club like before. But we still have one club left in our hand, and yeah. you can't actually. Um, get back to your hand without letting the opponents in. Mm. So you might try to get back with a heart, but West will win that, and West should realize that Declare has been so busy roughing clubs that they're going to stop that, and West should, of course, cash the Ace of Diamonds. Stop that yeah. Queen from roughing anything, okay? And now Declare is left with one club, but they cannot rough. Okay, so whatever they play now, you can play off all your trumps, but in the end you'll be left with a club loser unless the opponents mm. have this going on. So obviously you'll still make your contract, but you'll make one fewer trick um, if you uh, if, if you get rid of that ace of spades early. So this is quite a, a subtle one. But it involves seeing that you're short of entries to the south hand, and it's best to win the first trick with the king so that you have another entry to do your roughing. By the way, on this hand, what is the best lead for West here? Uh -huh. Trump. Yeah, it's a Trump, isn't it? If I click on the GIB button, it will actually say that um, if I lead, the, the best lead is the Ace of Diamonds. And the Ace of Diamonds will uh, allow De will only allow Declarer to make two, uh, to make nine tricks. It, it will be equal, that means nine, uh, just making three diamonds. And of course, if you play the Ace of Diamonds and another diamond, now Declarer is only able to rough once, okay? So drawing trumps on this uh, hand is a good strategy for the defense. And you can see that on any other lead, uh, Declarer can make two over trips. In other words, can make uh, three diamonds plus two um, if they don't need a trump. Then the best trump to lead here is the ace of diamonds. So you can then put, cash two diamonds and prevent Declarer from uh, all those roughs. Okay. It's not obvious though, is it? No. It's, it's, no, it's not an obvious lead at all. And, um, you you don't really know you don't really know the layout. I mean, you know, sometimes if, if you had been able to make a lead, so for example, if you had, for example, you know, the ace of hearts or something, you had ace king of hearts and you led a heart, then once you see dummy, you should definitely be thinking about um, drawing trumps because once you see dummy, you see two things: you see the shortness in dummy. And you see the fact that Dummy doesn't have very many diamonds. So you have a real prospect of cutting down on Declarer's ability to rough by drawing trumps. So, yeah, I would say it's not, a, not an obvious lead to lead a diamond there, um, but it, it turns out to be the best lead um, on this hand. Giving the biddy, I thought nine out of ten people would lead a spade. Exactly, yes. Mm. I would agree, yes. And I would Tony, agree with that. Yeah. 
East Double is saying they've got the other two suits. Yes. Would not they then go on? Well, so so the, the bidding went one diamond, one heart. Now East is has got nine points there, and they do have the unbid suits. So they're almost strong enough to double there immediately after the one heart bid. Um, but if they do pass, and then it goes on two diamonds, pass, 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 they're now bidding in the pass out seat. Oh, okay. And so they need, this is one where they sort of meant to borrow uh, a king from their partner. So in other words, um, nine points, but if you borrow another king, borrow um, three points from your partner, that makes it worth a double. So rather than let the opponents play in two diamonds, you should uh, double. Then your partner will sort of subtract that king when they're bidding and might only bid two spades. And yes, I mean, it's possible that East-West might go on and push him even higher, um, but at least you've pushed them one level higher than they were about to, um, to settle in. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions on that? So that's what the topic is on the hands today. Um, if you're playing in the supervised game, I know there are a few people who'd like to play there and don't have a partner. So after this call, do join that game and uh, take a seat and uh, we'll hopefully get you uh, paired up in, in that game. Um, okay. And uh, the rest of you, I'll I'll see online. Anyone have anything else they want to ask before we end? Pony. Yes. Yes, I, I wanted to ask well, something about the about um, next about down. when you're playing in, in and um, you're. <laughs> Excuse me. So there's a bit of background noise. If you can, yeah, carry on, Helen. Yes, Helen. Um, I I wanted to ask Tony that um, how soon can you claim? The last few tricks, um, because uh, it came it came about when we were playing, uh, our opponents claim like something like the last six, and we couldn't quite work it out. Is right. there a limit? No, no, and oh. um, and it, it's actually closely correlated to the expertise of the players because yes. I've <laughs> I've sat in on some games where declarer claims at trick one. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and, and 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 you know he, he'll say something like, "I'm going to rough that. I'm going to rough two rounds oh. of diamonds, rough a heart, and the rest of hand is good." And <laughs> but, when when you're when you're starting out in bridge, or when you're you know you're mismatched with your opponents, it's quite yeah. daunting. And um, uh, absolutely. So uh, so so my advice is to claim, but but don't claim too early. Even if it's clear to you, you know, so, so this is addressing the people who sort of like to claim early. Even if it's clear to you what how it, you're going to play it and you can say, say like, it's worth playing out a few more tricks till maybe you get to the stage of that you've just got all winners or all trumps. Yes, all trumps. Um, yes. And, then, and then say that. Please, you know, do definitely also draw trumps um, before you claim because... Uh, Otherwise, you know, some people will, you say, oh, you weren't going to draw trumps, and you'll say, oh, I was, but, you know, you, you don't want to get into an argument. Yeah. Well, so well I must, sorry, I must admit, Tony, that um, it was the opposition that were claiming, not us. Yeah. And so, and so, and so is it churlish to say, well, can we play a few more? No, not um, at all, not at no. all. And if it's, it's not, a... if it's not clear to you, yeah. then um, then you, you should do that. I mean, they okay. should they should really say what they're going to do. But even if they say that, sometimes it can be a bit fast. They can mm. say, oh, I'm going to, you know, draw it, that and cross to yes, the king of hearts. Yes, it is. Hearts. Agreed. And, it, and Agreed. It's, quite, it's quite daunting. Mm. And um, so when, when you're claiming, you know, don't claim too early. Try and bear in mind, you know, that your opponents may not may not be as quick as you. Um, but and, and if they do claim and, and, and you disagree, then just you know politely say, oh well, let's just um, uh, play out, play it out if you don't mind. Okay, and thank you, Tony, yeah. for the advice. Yeah, yeah. so that, so that makes sense. Yeah, so so do um, do that and, and don't be intimidated if if they claim. Uh, I, I know you you hate to feel fool, foolish. Yeah, you um, do exactly. <laughs> and the exactly. the other the other thing is, um, I do see mistakes made in the number of tricks claimed. 
Um, so on real bridge, the computer doesn't end the hand. You you'll nearly always get a chance to play the hand out. But mm. I do see some errors made where people claim um, an incorrect number of tricks. So when you claim, you can say how many tricks you're going to make. Yeah. And I've seen once or twice declarers have claimed, and um, they they claimed a something that they were very unlikely to be able to make. So um, don't claim too early in, in that sense, all right? Yes, thank you very much, Tony. Anyway, that's, that's it for today, and we'll see you all online in a few minutes, and hey. um, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank bye, you. everyone.